Hello everyone and welcome back to My Crafting World. This is Anna. Guys, I had gotten a haul from BB Craft and uh, one of the things that I wanted to make were dangles for, um, not a chunky charm, but a, a dangle. So those, the dangles are not as, as large as the chunky charms. So one of the things that I wanted to make were these flowered dangles, dangle beads. I don't know exactly what you call them, but they, you, uh, they're made with, with the paper flowers. Now, this one is a black one. I'm going to make a dangle for Halloween and it's not going to be very large, but this is one of the, the dangles that are going to go on the bigger charm. So, you know, it, they're not hard to make. There is one part that is a little tricky, but it's the trickiest part. And I'm going to show you uh, how to make these. So I'm going to zoom you in. There we go. And I hopefully will, um, you know, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I've made a black one and a, and a orange one. I want to make a red one with you guys. So the first thing, you know, it's the, the smaller the flower, the harder it is um, for that first part. The larger the flower, of course, obviously the easier it is. So I used flowers that were not way too small and this one was kind of small and I kind of struggled with this one. So this one is one of those flowers that you, you can get from Allie. So I've already prepared this one, but let me show you because I was practicing. Let me show you how to start your flower. So you grab your flower with the stem on it. And these flowers on the inside, they have a little, not these, the smaller, smaller ones do, but these, um, you have to just cut that little inside. Let me see if I can bring you up. Okay. You see that little center right here? That, that very little, the, the one that's folded and glued together. You kind of got to snip that off. And we have a remedy. Um, I'm going to snip that off. And you can see the little wire in there already. So I'm going to snip a little bit more just to expose it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So there's that wire. Open it up a little bit. Um, there's that wire. You can see the wire in there. It's hard to see, but you can see that little wire in there. If you push up on the stem, that wire will come right out. Okay, so I'm going to push that stem through that little wire. I'm going to open it up just a little bit more. Whoop. Okay, so it is really, really hard to see, but there is that little hole where the wire just came out through. Let me see if I can open it up a little bit more for you. Um... Uh, see I can see it it's just barely visible to you guys okay from this point I go ahead and take a longer you can use for the orange one I used the small uh, what size is this the, I, I got these from BB craft and I'll be using these uh, for other ones that don't have the flower but uh, for now I'm gonna use this longer one and this one I just had in my stash. So you want to take that and you want to poke it through the center. You want to poke it through the center until it comes out the other end. And the, there we go. So it, it has come out the other end and you just want to feed it through. Oop. You just want to feed it through. And that's why I tried to open that center a little bit just so it wouldn't crinkle everything on the way down and there we go I think it's open pretty good and then you still want to take your your pliers and I got these through BB craft as well and you just want to 
feed it through. So you can, it's hard to tell on the camera. There we go. There is the little pen head, okay? So you can either leave it like that. You can close up your, um, you know, your, your petals a little bit more or you can just add a little drop of um, stickles or glitter or don't do anything at all. Cause I mean, that's really not very visible. It's, it's really, you have to kind of look for it. So the next thing I did, you can either leave this on or, or let's leave it on, see what it looks like. Cause I don't, I, I left it on on the other ones. So I'm going to feed this back through. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue if I know where I left my glue it's there's a lot of stuff on my table guys and you know that when I craft there isn't a whole lot of stuff on my table only what I need okay so I'm just gonna put a little drop of glue you know just to adhere that back down okay all right so the next thing I did was I went ahead and put a bead cap on my flower and I'm going to use this one right here. So just feed the bead cap through there and you can, you know, you can glue as you go or, or not. I didn't because I'm not, I don't work with beads very, very often. Okay. So there's that one. Now I am going to take my red, this one is the, these are the frosted beads. These are the frosted beads that I got um, from BB Craft. So I'm going to take this and just feed it through, okay? And then I am going to take a, you know what guys? My best friend sent me a whole package of beads and they were multicolor and they would be perfect for this, but I put them away and now I don't know where I put them. So we're gonna go with something different. I am gonna go with a brown, goldish, antique brass bead. I don't know why the other ones are not with these. Now you, you don't, you can put whatever bead you want next. I just am going to use this one. So I'm going to take this little seed bead and feed it through okay there we go so I just put that little bead right on the top just to hold everything down and this is my little tangle so far but I don't want them really long so actually that's why I got these because these are not long and they will um, you know there's less cutting this you know so less waste so there's that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my pliers and I am going to just fold it over right at the base, okay? There we go, right at the base, just fold it over. And then I'm going to take my wire cutters and just leave, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch and just cut that off. There we go. And then I'm going to take the round. Oh, I sorry if I wasn't in frame. So I all I did was cut that off. So it leaves about a quarter of an inch. And my nails look bad. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to grab that tip and I am just going to fold it over to make that loop. Okay, there we go. Just straighten it out a little bit. And there is my little charm. Okay, so let me show you. There you go. And that is so, that is so cute, guys. Oh my gosh, I just love that little thing. I love them. So now I'm going to get a jump ring. And this one comes from the package that I, um, that I got from BB Craft. This one is the number eight. I'm guessing it's eight millimeters, but it's the number eight. And I'm going to take this, take my two pliers, 
and the opening is right there on the top, okay? I'm going to take those these two pliers and I'm going to twist it open. Okay, so now it's open. So you can see that it's open right there. I'm going to take my, my flower dangle that I just made and then I am going, I've never re released this one because, um, you know, you want, you want to keep them as even as possible. So I am going to close this back up, twisting the opposite way. And there you go. It is done. Okay. Our dangle is done. There we go. Let me zoom you back out. And there is the dangle. I like the way that came out. I'm going to be making uh, some for Christmas, probably making a Christmas uh, dangle. But anyway, so I am going to make some more charms or some more um, single bead you know, dangle so, so I can make the small dangle. So anyway, guys, the smaller the flower, the harder it is to, uh, to get to that center. So this one wasn't as hard as this one was, and this one was the easiest. So if you want to cover that, it just, you, you just can't see it. Honestly, you just, it is so hard to see. You have to look for it. But you can take a small, just a small dot of, um, you know, stickles and just put it in there. And it is still, you can't, you still can't see that. Okay. So another thing you can do, because I mean, they are paper, so another thing you can do is you can take some triple thick or glossy accents or something like that and put it on the flower itself so it doesn't, you know, smash up as, as easily and it'll last a little bit longer. But that is the little dangle, the flower dangle that I have made. And here's the black one. And here is the orange one. Those are so adorable. That's going to be look really cute. Whoops, really cute on that dangle that I make. There you go, guys. I'm going to have a list of all the supplies that I did, uh, did that I used for this in the description box along with their uh, website. And uh, yeah, so you can you know grab some beads. Remember, they do have that program where if you have at least just over 100 subscribers. Uh, they will let you do an unboxing. So if you want to get started with beads and whatnot, that'd be a great, great start. Um, their program just requires you to make two tutorials, two videos um, for using the products that you choose from them. So I'm going to leave all that uh, in the description box, all that information so you can take a look for yourself. And uh, we will see you next time to make the dangles without the flowers and then put the uh, actual dangle together. All right, guys, thank you so very much for watching and we will talk to everyone later. Hope y'all have a great day, guys. Thanks a lot.